Good morning children. Hope all are keeping fine. So today we are going to learn the third part of past tense that is past perfect tense. Past perfect tense. Children, could you guess what this is? Let's check out. Past perfect tense. This form shows an action completed at some point in the past before another action was begun. When to use past perfect tense? We use the past perfect to talk about a situation or activity that was complete before another part situation or activity. When using the past perfect tense, two actions, one following the other, are signified. Sometimes they are clearly stated, at other times one of the actions is implied. Or in simple words, we can say that we use past perfect tense to state two events which occurred in the past. Now let's check out how to form past perfect tense. For this, you have to have subject plus had plus past participle. Note that in past perfect form, the auxiliary verb had will be same for all subjects. Say for example, if your subject is I, you, he, she, it, we, they, the auxiliary verb you have to use will be had. Yeah, you have to remember, we usually use the past perfect to make it clear which action happened first. As I already stated, we use past perfect tense to mention two past events. So for this, we have to mention which action happened first. For example, Susie had already left home when Mike arrived. Here, in the given example, there are two actions and both the actions happened in the past. So, the given sentence could be identified as past perfect and simple past. The past perfect is Susie had already left, which is your first action. And simple past will be Mike arrived and that's your second action. Let's check out another example. When he arrived, the train had left. Now children, could you please identify the past perfect that is the first action and simple past which is the second action. So check your answer children. Past perfect, train had left which is your first action. Have everyone mentioned it correct? Now let's check simple past. And your answer is he arrived. And that's your second action. Yeah. Past perfect tense can also be used to express a past wish or regret. Say for example, he wishes he dash so much last night. Now in brackets, you can see not drink. Now not drink, that is mentioning a negative form. So children, whenever negative form comes, you have to add hadn't. Instead of had, you have to add hadn't. So in negative form, it becomes subject plus hadn't plus past participle. So here, could you guess what will be the answer? And your answer is... He wishes he hadn't drunk so much last night. So you have to use hadn't plus past participle of drink. That is third form of drink which becomes drunk. Now let's check some of these questions. You have to help me to answer these questions. Ready children? Number one. When I arrived at the cinema, the film dash. In brackets, start is given. And your answer is, when I, ha when I arrived at the cinema, the film had started. 
Now let's move on to the next set of questions. She dash live in China before she went to Thailand. Number three, Julie didn't arrive until after I dash leave. Number four, we all were late for the plane because we dash forget our passports. Number five, the grass was yellow because it dash not rain all summer. And your last question, the lights went off because we dash not pay the electricity bill. Now try to find out the answers of these questions and let's check the answers together. Here yeah, and your answers are had lived, had left, had forgotten, hadn't rained and hadn't paid. I suppose all your answers are correct. Now let's move on to the fourth part of past tense that is past perfect continuous tense. Past perfect continuous tense. It is used for an action or an activity which began at some time in the past and is still continuing. Example, I had been reading for two hours. The sentence implies that the action or activity began at some time in the past and still is continuing. Now, how do we form past perfect continuous tense? The form is had plus been plus verb plus ing. Example, we had been playing computer games. Let's check another example. I had been working all afternoon. So, you can see subject plus had plus been plus verb plus ing. This is how you form past perfect continuous tense. Now, when to use past perfect continuous tense? For activities that started in the past but before something else in the past. Example, I had been traveling before I met her. So, this example indicates that I started traveling in the past and it lasted for some time. And then I met a specific person. Now all these things were completed in the past. So my dear children, please don't get confused with past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense. These two forms are very simple. You have to use the forms. You have to be thorough with your forms. That is in past perfect tense, you should use subject plus had plus past participle and past perfect continuous tense the form will be subject plus had plus been plus verb plus ing. With this we wind up our session. Now take down the questions as your home assignment and answer. Thank you.